you've learnt in your badges to put together a gymnastics routine. We will have five categories of skills with three options in each. You need to pick one from each category and then I will give you some ideas of dance and travelling steps to use to put them together to make up a gymnastics routine. Before we start, remember that in gymnastics all your routines must start and finish with a present. If you are a girl, you will start with your feet turned out, your bottom squeezed and ballet arm. To do your present, you will step forwards onto your toes, push your arms out to the side and step back together. I will show you this one more time. Feet turned out, bottom squeezed and step forwards and step backwards. If you are a boy, we will start with our feet together and our arms down. You will step forward and lift one arm and step back. This is your present and make sure that you start and finish your routine with your present. Now let's look at our skills. The first category are balances. You can choose from three balances for your routine. A knee balance, a T balance or a frog balance. I'm going to show you each of them and then you can choose which one you would like to use for your routine today. For the first one it's a knee balance. You will stand with two straight legs, put your arms up to the side and lift one leg up so that your big toe touches your knee. And you need to hold for one, two, three. This is a knee balance. Or you could choose to do a T balance. For this skill, you need to point one foot to the side and you're going to keep the little bottom leg as straight as you can and lean over to make a T shape. The last balance you can choose is a frog balance. For this one, we need to put our elbows onto our knees and keeping our arms as straight as we can we lean forward to make a frog balance. Remember whichever balance you choose to do in your routine today you need to be able to hold it for three seconds. Once you've chosen your balance you then need to pick your jump. You can choose a straight, a tuck or a star jump. Remember each jump must have a clear start position it must show its shape in the air, hold the landing, and then finish. If you're going to do a straight jump, it will look like this. Or you could choose to make a star shape. Now you have your balance and your jump. We're going to choose a hold. You can choose to do a V-sit, a front to side support, or a dish to an arch. Whichever hold you pick, you must hold the shape for three seconds. If you're doing a V-sit, remember your hands point towards your toes. We place our hands on the floor behind us, and then straighten our legs to a V-shape and hold for one, two, three. Or you could do a dish to an arch. For this, we round our back, lower to a dish so our back is on the floor but our shoulders aren't. Hold one, two, three, move our arms to our ears, and roll to an arch hold. One, two, three. Or your final choice is to do a front to a side support. You will start in a front support with a round chest and cover those ears. Remember your bottom should be tight and your tummy should be squeezed. Then you're going to lift onto one side and show your side support for one, two, three, and then go back to your front support. Now we should have a balance, a jump, and a hold. The next skill we're going to add to our routine is a moving or travelling shape. For this, you can choose to do a normal bunny hop, moving forwards. Remember, knees stay together. And we go hands, feet, hands, feet, hands, feet, 
hands, feet, or you can choose to do your bunny hop travelling side to side. Or if you think you're ready, you could choose to do a straddle bunny hop. The final skill we're going to put into your routine is a move of your choice. You can choose between a cat flip, a burpee, or a roll backwards and forwards to stand. I will show you one of each. This is your cat flip. For your burpee, we do a front support. Jump in, jump up, and land. I'll show you one more time. Front support.